OK, let's look at the other part of number 10, specimen 1. Develop a subroutine called prefix, which will be written in pseudocode or flowchart, and it takes two character arrays, word and pre, as parameters. So here we go, subroutine, prefix, it takes word and pre as parameters and determines whether the start of the character word is the same as all of the character array pre. So what does that mean here? So let's say we have prefix and we feed in chocolate and cho, where word equals chocolate and pre equals cho. This would return true because the first letters of chocolate are equal to the first three letters of cho. Now if we have prefix biscuit bis, this would also return true because the first few letters of biscuit, b-i-s, are equal to the letters in uh, here pre which are bis but what would this return prefix biscuit qwe that would return false because the first letters in biscuits bis are clearly not equal to qwe and that's what it means now this being said this being said you're going to have to read this question a number of times to really uh, with deep concentration to understand what the situation is because they're not worded to be easy you do have you know that's why you are doing the GCSE so that you can boast and say that you've done something worthwhile but it gives you an example for example the character arrays a b i t m a p b pixel c bit a starts with the same character sequence of characters are C, B, I, T and B, I, T. But B does not start with the same character, sequence of characters as C, P, I, X, B, I, T. You do have to read it. So your subroutine should also work for characters, arrays of all lengths greater than zero and not assume that the length of pre is less than the word of, less than the length of word. OK, then, so what do you write? Now, you do have to think about what you write beforehand, but I will just show you the code here and you can study it in your own time and see why it works and you can try and write something similar yourself. Subroutine, prefix, word, pre. Remember, it, asked, it gave you that right at the beginning here. OK, now if length pre is greater than length word, then return false. This is from this condition here. Not assume, oops, not assume that the length of pre is less than the word of length. So that's this if statement. Then i equals 1. What's i is less than length pre, so you're going to go around and here in this while statement loop you're going to compare all the letters in pre with the let the, the letters in word or the if if pre has three letters then you're going to compare it with the first three letters in word if it has four letters you're going to compare it with the first four letters in word so you start with that if word i is not equal to word pre i then return false so if the first letter is not equal in pre, is not equal to the first letter in word, then return false. Suppose you had the words chocolate for word and biscuit for pre, then word, the first letter of word would be chocolate C, and the first letter would be B, so they're not equal, so you'd return false. But if they are equal, carry on, I equals I plus 1, then you compare the second letter in word and the second letter in pre and you go round the loop until you have utilized all the letters in pre and if you 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 know if they all equaled the similar position of the letter in word then you return true and you have found a match
go over 